Hello, Saints. I hope you're doing well. Um, here's a topic I'm going to talk about today. I got, I'm getting emails from a lot of Muslims and uh, Facebook messages and stuff and some hate mail because they don't like me exposing their religion for what it is. And the, the hate mail means nothing. That's basically what their threats mean. Nothing. So, the majority of them are saying that ISIS is not Islam and that Islam, Islam is so called a peaceful religion. Now, they tell me, um, oh, you didn't read the Quran or you have the wrong copy. Well, there's various different versions of the Quran, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, I went ahead and I looked at all the verses that talk about violence in all four Qurans and they are exactly the same. So I have the right copy. So they'll try to sit there and say, oh you don't have the right copy. Well, I do. But let me continue forward. If you read the Quran, like I said, I, I urge you to go to David Woods, he does an excellent job exposing Islam for the perverted religion that it is. Okay? So, if you go to his channel, I think he has Apologetics Acts, I forgot the name of it, but just type in David Wood and you'll find him in the search engine. He does an excellent job exposing Islam. But anyway, let me finish what I'm saying. So they try to tell you that Islam is a peaceful religion. Well, it's not, because I read the Quran before, and and I told you I read the Hadith. I own both. Paid a pretty penny for it, but I used it to basically shut the mouths of Muslims that try to tell me it's a peaceful religion because it's not. And then when I come at them with verses and uh, scriptural verses out of their Islamic texts, I don't get any more emails from them. I, I can't tell you how many Muslims I proved wrong. Anyway, uh, so they, they proceed to tell me that the Islamic religion is peaceful and it's not violent and this, that, and the other, and that um, it teaches to for husbands to protect their wives and to nurture them and a bunch of other nonsense. So. I basically, you know, this is a response to them. I've read the Quran, okay, I've read the Hadith many, 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 I mean, I've read it many times, okay, and it is not a peaceful religion because the Quran commands that certain things, look, it commands, it says a man has you know, basically his wife is his property. It says that that uh, she's disobedient to him, or if he suspects she's being disobedient to him, that he can be her. And he can refuse to uh, share the marital bed with her. It says other things as well, like, um, if she's a... Uh, Oh, that, that she cannot, I mean, a woman doesn't have any rights, put it that much. She cannot go out in public without a male companion. Uh, oh, the penalty for thieves is to get their limbs cut off, hands, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying stealing is right, but to get their hands cut off and stuff, stuff and stuff like that. Um, also says that. I already told you about a woman's testimony being worth that half of a man. Told you about that. Uh, it says other things. Like I said, I try to give you bits and pieces as much as I can, but oh, they condone uh, pedophilia. They condone um, if you are lying or if a Muslim feels compelled to lie. 
they can pretty much go ahead and do that. Especially if it means entrapping their enemy, even lying to their spouse. And they can go ahead and pretty much do that. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I'm just trying to go. I'm going by memory here because I've, I've read it. I mean, I read it and you can look it up yourself. Oh, kill the Jews and Christians. That's all over there. If a Jew or Christian does not submit to Islam, you can kill them. Um, a Christian has three options if they wish to stay in a Muslim community. Pay the Jizret, which is, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, which is a tax to, to show that they're inferior to uh, Muslims. If they wish to stay, um, either renounce, they become Muslim, or they die. That's the three options that they have, pretty much. See, so, Islam doesn't give them much of an option, is what I'm basically telling you guys. Um, the other thing with that ungodly religion is uh, they drink camel urine. I mean, I've actually had a couple of Muslims tell me, okay, that it's an acceptable practice and that if you drink it with milk, camel milk, it's just so disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. It made me nearly puke. If you drink it with camel urine, it's uh, it's a good remedy. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but urine is body waste. Okay, it's body waste, and that's what you're drinking. It's it's dangerous. So basically, they're saying you can drink urine and pretty much drop dead. I, I'm just I, I, I'm not kidding you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not making this stuff up. Um, I also read in their Quran that for, there's certain parts, I told you about this already, but they believe that sun sets in, in a pool of murky water. I read that to, I read that before. And like I said, they, they say don't show compassion to your enemies, don't show, don't be yielding to the Jews or Christians. Um, they believe that uh, Jesus Christ uh, said that Muhammad was going to be the one that was coming. That he was the comforter, you know, the whole the comforter, um, not the Holy Spirit, which is a fat lie. Because in the book of Acts, Jesus Christ said before he left that the Holy Spirit was com coming, right? That he's going to send a comforter, and he did. And that prophecy was fulfilled in the book of Acts when Paul and the apostles got the Holy Spirit. So that means that the Quran's claims that Jesus Christ meant Muhammad is false. A.K.A. Muhammad's a false prophet. Uh, the, the Quran also talks about uh, there was a, God, uh, the false god Allah prophesied that if Muhammad's a false prophet, um, his life-giving being, which is Iota, would be cut off. And I told you guys this before. And God, who is Jesus Christ, used a woman to, a Jewish woman, to poison a meal that Muhammad ate. And he ended up having a heart attack because I order gave out. And um, that means that, yes, he's a false prophet. Because Muhammad said that if he's a false prophet, may God kill him. Uh, by taking away, you know, cutting off his life-giving vein. And that's exactly how he died. So Muhammad prophesied his own death. So it says in the Quran that he said that the false god Allah said that if he's a false prophet, that if God never sent him, Allah would, you know, kill him like that. And that's exactly how Muhammad died. Meaning, he is indeed a false prophet. So, I mean, anyway, that religion encourages killing the Christians and Jews. Um, there's also another part in there that says that um, during war, that they should, the uh, Muslims shouldn't yield to uh, or show any kind of compassion or mercy to the non-believer or infidels or kufirs as they call non-Muslims that they should just um, you know if, if they catch a woman that is married right um, it says that it's, it's weird that religion because it says that, that they are not allowed to commit adultery against their own wives but if they catch a capture a woman during war that is married, right? That that woman becomes the prisoner of war of the 
Muslim captors, and they could essentially keep them as sex slaves. And Allah actually actually allows this type of stuff. And I tell you this: what kind of a god would let a uh, man keep sex slaves that are married already, and then uh, say that it's not a sin? A sick God, that's what. And also, in the Bible, God doesn't condone any of that stuff. Actually, God was Jesus Christ. Commanded every time, you know, he sent someone off to war. For example, David. That when they went to war with an enemy, that they could not keep the spoils of the war. Could not keep the women, nothing like that. Because that town was wicked, everybody had to go, everybody had to die. You know, because the whole town was wicked. That... God would send a righteous king forth to destroy. You know, it's a town that invaded, uh, I'll give you an example, David um, struck, I think it was the Philistines. Well, it's a pagan area. They don't, they worship false gods, all of them, men, women, and children. So, anyway, um, this is like, this is what I'm seeing in the Quran, okay? I'm seeing a false prophet that is a pedophile, a pervert, named Muhammad, and who murdered Christians, nearly wiped out Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, to the point that it was extinct, almost extinct. Okay. Now I don't support any other faith on Buddhism and uh, Christian. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Hinduism and any other faith is false. Jesus Christ is the true light in the way. So, you know. It is not a peaceful religion, okay? And I point this out to the Muslims. In fact, the Quran has 109 verses that condones killing Christians and Jews. And the Quran falsifies a lot of things. It says that the Bible prophesied, like I said, the coming of Muhammad. The only thing the Bible says about Muhammad is that he's a false prophet and an antichrist. And God said in the Bible, um, if you hear someone saying, there I am, the Christ, or the Christ is here, do not believe them, because that's a false pro uh, prophet and a false Christ. Now, Muhammad is like he's trying to steal the light. It's like he's trying to uh, act like he is Jesus Christ. Well, he's nothing like him. Jesus Christ never lied, never told a sin. Jesus Christ wasn't a pedophile or a false prophet. Jesus Christ is God, you know? So... Um, it's like he was trying to steal the limelight from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God. Muhammad's dead and rotting in a grave full of worms. And he's burning in hell. Jesus Christ is God and he's on his throne even to this day. You know, Muslims follow a corpse. That's what they follow. We Christians follow Jesus Christ who is God. The Quran teaches a false doctrine that uh, Christians worship three gods. We don't. So, the Quran is so stupid because... Jesus Christ, who is God, is one with the Holy Spirit. And also, is one with the Father, one with the Son, one with the Holy Spirit. Meaning, Jesus Christ, who is the creator of all, was in spirit form, because God is a very powerful spirit, manifested as a man named Jesus Christ. You know, as Gabriel told Mary, she was going to call him Jesus Christ, new Elohim, Emmanuel. And before Jesus, Jesus Christ had to be glorified, okay? Had to die for the sins of mankind and had to be glorified so he can send a comfort, which is the Holy Spirit, to mankind. So, um, like I said, Jesus Christ manifested as a man. And then when John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit united with the Father, with Jesus Christ, who is the Father, who is God, okay? And um, Jesus Christ finished the first part of the work on the cross, he came, he came, sacrificed himself, so mankind wouldn't have to pay for their sins. God took, you know, Jesus Christ, who was God, took on the price that mankind was going to pay, which was the wrath of God for the sins of, of mankind. In other words, Jesus Christ manifested as a man, offered himself as a sacrifice for the atonement of sin, so mankind wouldn't have to perish in the wrath of God for their sins. That's how wonderful and that's how great God loves all mankind. You know, Christianity is a religion of peace. I don't care what anybody says. 
doesn't teach violence. You don't see Christians killing anyone. I mean, this is this is crazy. Because it's crazy because you have Muslims telling me that Islam is peaceful, and then I point out, and I'm explaining to you, I point out verses to them from their own Quran, and then they try to explain it off, like. It says, kill the Christians and Jews, infidels, if they reject Allah. Fight all those who oppose Allah. It says it in the Quran. They try to explain it off as self-defense. And I'm like, they're looking at them. I, I, I just be like, you know, that rat on your head, you're probably wearing it too tight. Or you're cutting off the oxygen to whatever brain cells you have left. Because anybody looking at the Quran will see that that means exactly as it says, kill those who reject Allah. Not kill them in self-defense. That sounds stupid. So that's what these Muslims try to tell me. And then I read them the verse again. Kill those that oppose Allah, that reject Islam. And then if they accept Islam, accept them. For they have repented. And um, fight those that fight Allah. There's another verse in the, in the Quran. Just fight those that fight Allah until they say that there is no other God but Allah. That's what it says in there. Allah is the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, Islam is not a peaceful religion. It does really say to, that if you steal to cut the um to cut the limbs off. There's other things. If you are caught committing adultery, which I don't condone, there's lashes, whippings. Um, if you insult Islam or if you leave Islam, the penalty is death. That is in the Quran. ISIS is practicing exactly what the Quran demands of their of its worshippers. All the laws in the Quran, ISIS is practicing exactly as it says. I'm just telling you this because I see it, and then I compare what they do. Like one, one um, video that they did it was an ISIS documentary, and I was studying it, and then I was watching and observing what they were doing, you know, to so-called infidels. So anyway. There was a thief on there. Oh, uh, before I go any further, the Quran also says to crucify Christians and Jews. It says it in there. I've seen it for my own self, and that's exactly what I, ISIS does. So I'm going to go back to what I was saying. Um, there was a thief that was getting their arm cut off. Okay? Uh, their hands, I'm sorry, their hand, hands and feet, their limbs, cut off. There was another one that was getting lashes for, uh, I believe it was for um, alcohol and drinking, and again, I don't condone that, but they were getting lashes for that. Um, there was some other weird stuff in there, and I, I'm trying not to forget, but there was other weird stuff in there, and um, oh, about Sharia law. This is what it is. The Sharia law about the thief, thievery. Oh, the, the, cruci the cruci crucifying Christians. That's in there. I've seen that. And ISIS practice exactly, they do exactly that. Um, ISIS, on the Quran, it says to behead non-believers. Seen that in there too. Pretty disturbing stuff. So, they can't sit here and tell me um, it's a peaceful religion because there is disturbing evidence that it is not. It's not a peaceful religion. It's not. So, before any Muslim can come to me and tell me that Islam is peaceful, you better pick up a Quran and a Hadith, read them both, look at the verses, look at exactly what ISIS is doing, that they are practicing exactly what the Quran demands them to do and then you sit there and tell me if it's a peaceful religion or not because if you say it's a peaceful religion then you are higher than the highest star in the sky then you are high so high you are smoking that acid that chronic doing that weed every day 24 hours a day seven days a week that you are not he even here in the same reality and I'm just being real I'm just being real. So I just wanted to point that out. It is not a peaceful religion. It is a religion of hate, ladies and gentlemen. Of hate. Pure hate. Okay? ISIS exactly represents Islam. That's what it is. And I'm just being factual with you. I'm still um, going over the Quran. Like I said, I read it already. But I'm going through highlighting certain verses. 
Like another verse that I hired, uh, highlighted was one part says that man was made from a sperm and a blood clot. Another part says that man was made from dust. So how was man made? From which part? It doesn't make any sense. See the contradictions? The other contradictions is that um, there was another one in there. Oh, the man's made from dust. Man's made... Oh, no, oh that the Quran... Muslims claim that the Quran predicts the Big Bang Theory. Well, the Big Bang Theory says that that made all matter and all life. That that created everything. So if Muslims believe that the Big Bang Theory... If they believe in the Big Bang Theory that it was predicted by the Quran, then that totally refutes and discredits Allah as being the creator of all things. That's how dumb these Muslims are. And I'm not saying all Muslims, okay? I'm sure there are a few that pick up a book, their Quran, and they read it. And they're probably embarrassed and scared to change because change convert believe Islam because you know if you try to leave it, you got. I thought I'd share this with you all. You know, it's pretty interesting that they're gonna sit here and say it's a peaceful religion, but prove it. Tell me why does the Quran say kill the Jews and kill the Christians? And that it's okay to beat your wife. And it's okay to do honor killings. That it's okay that when you capture prisoners of war and they married women, you could use them as sex slaves or you could sell them on the market or you could treat them like prostitutes. Or you could give grenades and armed weapons to six, seven-year-old kids. Or you can marry kids as young as six, seven, eight years old, even babies. Explain that to me. How is that peaceful? That's sick. And if you worship a God that allows that, you are sick as you are sicker than Allah, who is a pervert and the devil, and Muhammad, a cross-dressing false prophet pedophile put together. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good night.